guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to Chilean food is amazing. Frying food in Chile. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I never, I think I don't think I know Chilean Yeah, me neither. I, 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 Chilean. I don't know a single Chilean dish, so this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Mm. That's a big empanada. What the hell? That is good. Yeah. We've seen something like Argentina. No, Argentina. Is it Argentina? Yes, yeah, Argentina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it? The cafe salute look like the thing that you make spices in mortar and pesto. Oh, how pretty! Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, wow. 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 We have a party. So we're heading out to see a piece of chili that we've never seen before. That's food. pretty. I've never seen Chilean food. Me either. Chile. Oh, we're gonna go see what all that's about. Take you guys along with us, and hopefully, we we'll eat some really delicious things. So when we told our friends that we were doing like a self-guided food tour, they told us we have to pick up a completo. Kind of similar what we saw in Argentina. Oh. Like remember? Yeah. It was just but it was like bread a, and meat. Like a sauce, yeah, yeah. chorizo. Yeah, chorizo. Bread, and, yeah. Pa a pan, pan chorizo. Yeah, and this is it looks like a lot of toppings. It's basically a hot sauce. However, it has avocados, tomatoes, mm. and I think the key ingredient, if I'm understanding this correctly, Egg? is about half a gallon of mayo oh. on top. So it is the most loaded hot dog you're probably ever going to see. We eat a lot of mayo. But so is a there meat mayo. inside though? I assume so. There's a hot dog in there. Oh. But she didn't say what kind of meats. Like, I don't know what meats. Yeah. Okay. okay, so it's a regular hot dog with basically like guacamole. Uh, or mm -hmm. just uh, maybe not like avocado. Just avocado. Okay, just tomatoes. With, with a lot of mayo. Yeah. A lot of mayo, yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. I hope they show the prices though. You know what? Like, that's the thing for me every time reacting to new people you don't know. It's like, are they going to show yeah. the prices? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Oh, that was going to taste just like a mouthful of mayonnaise. But the bun, like, it doesn't bun. It mostly just tastes like the, the tomato, the hot dog, and the avocado. Mm -hmm. It's just like a mouthful of mayo. Like, it's not like you're going to die. Just close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> fine. I've grown a lockdown beard. So I'm trying to. Try to get it out of the way. Oh, you're gonna make a mess. Oh, wow. That's really good. I mean, it's a hot dog. That's a good hot dog. Delicious. I, was, I mean, I just wanted to know what kind of hot dog, like what meat? Looks like a sauce, like regular sauces. What do you mm -hmm. mean, what meat? Just There's different there's milk sausages. But okay, I, I think you can pick whatever oh. meat you want. No? I don't know. She picked? Oh. It makes me want to be like at a sporting event because that's what I associate hot dogs with. Yeah. Uh, so other than it, us not watching the hockey game right now, everything is perfect. These are hot dogs hot dogs. So we don't speak very good Spanish. We ordered our two completos, but he also recommended this dish. He said it's like french fries and empanadas for two. It's literally a bucket full of french fries with a tub of cheese. You can't hate it, can you? Look like macaroni. Yeah, it looks like mac and cheese. Yeah, oh. Like cheese. I wonder if empanadas is just those three empanadas or there's like more in the bottom. Like it's like... I think it's just three. We'll see. I didn't know this is going to be good. There's no Which I don't like because if you see two people sitting, you put three empanadas. Let's do the math. Okay? Now be splitting empanadas. <laughs> Empanadas, these are fried empanadas. What's the thing? I know they're not the healthiest version of an empanada, but probably the best. Let's be real here. I love the cheese. Cheese on the inside of these and cheese on the outside of the fries. This feels like the place that you go like after a lot of drinks or something, or maybe after like a, a lot of hiking. There's a lot of hiking to do around Santiago. A game of football, soccer. What are you Oh. The fry 
immediately eat. Alright, let's go. On to the next thing. Oh man, they didn't show the prices. That's my only thing. I wish we see yeah. the prices. I like to see the prices. Yeah. So we've been in San Diego for a while, but obviously everything's been closed due to COVID. And now we've finally gotten a chance to go outside Santiago and taste some really good food in a cute little town about an hour away. We're just waiting for yeah, our food. They're going an hour for food? Damn. Mm -hmm. Must be some really good food then. Mm -hmm. That's a big ass. Yes. Yes. I'm from Ottawa, whatever you want to call it. That's why every Let's recipe. Let's go. So we made it to Palmare, where we're going to explore some of the food outside it's of San Diego. Look at the mountains in the background yeah, of the view. It's a beautiful yeah. view, yeah. A few of these we've had before, a few of them we've never had, they come highly recommended. We're here at Caitlin and Jorge. We're going to walk us through this culinary feast. And the best part is, like, they just brought out the bread. It is warm wow. inside. Everywhere you look around here, you can smell the fire burning, and meat, and bread, and pottery cooking on it. It is so damn good. And Jorge is Chilean. He was born and raised in Santiago, right? Uh, La Florida. La Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so are you sure to prepare for this because I don't know what anything is called. If these are traditional... Pan amasado. Pan amasado. Thank you, right? Uh, pan amasado. What is that? And this is the bread. The pebe. Pebe is a, an important component of every traditional Chilean meal. Right? Yes. You're afraid of a Chilean food. So, you make sure you say it tomato, right. onion, garlic, cilantro, everything cooked really tiny. Some olive oil, maybe some wine or vinegar. And everything, you mix everything together and then you have this. Pepper. It's like a kind of like a dip sauce. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a bread. pesto kind of thing. Yeah. Pan asado is warm. Warm? Yeah. Warm some butter. Bread. You have some butter, mm -hmm. a little bit of pepper, and that's perfect. You don't expect pepper and pan everywhere, like in every restaurant. Restaurant San Pedro. They just brought these cups that we ordered Chilean wine, which is a big deal here. Ah. Yeah. Vino de la casa. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's from this area. That's why the cups are like right this. Because they're from Palmyra. I'll show it to you many times. Really cool. Yeah, so that bowl up, up top does look like the one we saw in Argentina. Mm -hmm. But these breads, whatever these look, they look so good. Oh, they're one kilo empanadas. God damn. And this is It's a big papa. This is yeah. kilo. You wanted so, 10 kilo. I petitioned to get the 10 kilo panada that they have outside of the store. It takes one hour to make. And for people also from the US, it's like 22 pounds. Instead, we got the more reason. 10 kilo. Like, how many people would share that? I was like, <sighs> Reasonable one kilo empanada, two pounds, 2.2 pounds. And they got both varieties of it. So two kilos yeah. of empanada. I feel like kilo empanada, one, one kilo empanada could feed the both of them. Mm -hmm. I think they could share one. Because mm -hmm. usually when you eat meat, like, it's like, what, you half a pound tops, probably, right? Because, mm -hmm. like, when the burger, quarter pound burgers, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. This is going to be so hot. It's going to this one is not fried because the other one we saw for breakfast it was fried. fried. Yeah. This is big. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, it's like an English pie. Mm. On a cold day, that's exactly what you want in your belly. So this is pino, which is like a really common filling here. It involves ground beef, egg, and chicken, and Onion. olives. Very stuffed though. Yeah. Like the the bread is very That's thin. Really There's a lot of meat. I thought it would be more bread nah, than like, meat. I wish they but should when they, yeah, But when they it's cut it, expensive. Mm. What are you saying? When they cut it, it's most it's the bread is thin. Yeah, no, I mean yeah, but I, I was shocked because I think it would have been the opposite. Uh, yeah, I want to see the price because so much meat in it. It's gotta be expensive. Meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, they are sharing it for four people. Oh okay, half a half one, so half mm -hmm. a kilo each. That's okay. Yeah, okay. I didn't think she was gonna share oh, yeah, thought, a bit into one. Yeah, I thought I thought they're doing like the two two guys, yeah. two, well, the guy and the girl each, one each. <laughs> And there's sugar on top. Sugar. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. That is yeah. interesting. You stick that's something I would like. It's very deep, so it's like kind of layered. At the bottom is the meat. That's so interesting. Mm. So it's like a pot pie or something like mm -hmm. that. Right? It's interesting. It's kind of like cream corn. It's really good. Really good. This is pastel de haiba, and it's uh, like a crab cake. It translates to crab cake. It's not really wow. like indigenous to this like exact town. This is obviously more of a coastal dish, but I love crab cake, and I saw it on a video, and I have to take this opportunity to have it. I think it's cheesy too, though. It looks cheesy. It does have cheese. Wow. I like the bowls and the utensils that yeah, they have. Very like, traditional, very like throwback. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Yeah, we have that, like, as I, I said, like that. tavernas in this morning. Yeah. Oh, taverns. Okay. That's what they kind of serve in those dishes. I like that because you yeah. feel like you're eating. It's very in traditional. The country. Yes, yeah. exactly. These are that country vibe, yeah. countryside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. seen it here in the States somewhere, this uh, being sold. I just don't know what it is. You say it's just for. And here you have chili, with like a really typical salad here. Tomato, onion, and some cinnamon. Yeah. And you're gonna start some sugar here. <laughs> yeah, I said that they were doing a lot of food. Yeah. That's a lot of food yeah. for four people. Yeah. Oh, this is Chilean sugar. Yeah. 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 This yeah. sugar is so good. Should try it right now. See. What's the difference between mitas and tamales? And I had tamales right now. Wow. Oh, you didn't have the Mexico. No, I think the difference is that Umitas are it's just corn. There's nothing else in there. Mm. And then they put the sugar on it and you get what you want. But that's it. Mm. Mm. I think also adding it with the tomato and onions is definitely very different than having it with mine. That's delicious. Uh, All right, your favorite. Uh, my favorite, right now off the top of my head, I would have to say the crab cake. I don't know, that's like, it's so good. It's really good. The, the chocolate is, is right behind it. That, like the that. sweetness of the corn is just amazing. And everything is cooked so well, but I want to have more of the steak as well before this I, is really good before I have my, my final judgment. I just wish 
they show the prices, man. That's mm -hmm. really because I want to know how much the kilo mm -hmm. of banana was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Aww. That's it. That's nice. I've never seen Shlaim food before. Yeah, that was cool. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord, and as always, as always, mm -hmm. share as much kindness as possible.